so well, it's my first time here, and I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to find out what's so great about Venice. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful place to come to, and uh, I'm sure it's a wonderful film festival, and I look forward to seeing our film here. I really do. And you're fantastic. <laughs> David, tell my audience about your character in this film. Tell my audience what your character in this wonderful film is all about. Well, Louder John, than words. Uh, John Ferrari, who's here tonight, and Tony Fabian. But John Ferrari is the, the man that I play in the film. Uh, it's a true story. We're going to interview him later. Yeah, yeah. So you can you can ask him about that. But he's a he's a good man, and he did uh, a wonderful thing by you know reacting to a horrible tragedy in his life, and he built a children's hospital. Well, this is such a tragic story, but yeah. from this tragic story, you made an incredible film, and it turned it around and inspired people to contribute, participate, right. and because I do charities right. here in New York, out here in the Hamptons and in New York City, and you got involved in this project. Why? I just thought it was a nice story. I was I was interested in the character. He's very kind of quiet. You know, not not verbose, and I've been playing characters that talked a lot for a while, and um, I just thought it was worthwhile. I wanted to see what it turned into. Well, I heard that this is a phenomenal film. I hope so. I'm Lots of press. In it. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to it. Fantastic. Tell me where we could go to find out more information about the film. What's the website? I don't know. You don't know? No. What's your website? I don't have one. I don't even tweet. Your Facebook? I don't know. Nothing. No, nothing. nothing. We love you. Introduce yourself to the camera. I'm Anthony Fabian, and I'm the director of Louder Than Words. Now, why did you decide to take on this project? I loved the script. I thought the script was very beautifully written. It's a story that could have been just a, like a TV movie, and he did an amazing job of giving it a lot of nuance and layers and a very rich material. Now you chose David Duchovny, did I you? Did, yes. Why did you pick him to be in this movie? Well, the character of the movie doesn't say very much, and I think David is somebody you can watch without him having to have any dialogue. I, you know, I was just about to say that his eyes and his expressions pro project so much more. This exciting film, Louder Than Words. Tell my audience about this film and why you decide to make a movie. So introduce yourselves first. I'm John Ferrari and this is Brenda. I'm Brenda Ferrari and we're Maria's parents. Now, this film started out so tragically, but it ended so wonderfully because now people, you are bringing awareness about your child's illness that unfortunately died. Yes. Uh, I console you both. I mean, thank God. God bless you for doing this. Because that's what I do. I do charity events. Uh, Tell my audience about this film and why you decided to do it. Number one, we decided to do it because Maria's timeline for her life, one thing she wanted to be was a star. Um, really? Yeah. She wanted to be an actress? Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess we kind of decided it because we felt, although it's a sad story, there's the hope and there's also a lesson about doing something good when something bad happens because there's so much bad in the world already. I, I commend you for doing so, something so tragic and yet look at you here, you're at the Hanson's Film Festival. Yeah, which is surreal. Exciting. Yeah, it's, it's surreal, yeah. yeah. What, do you, what can you tell my audience? What can you tell my audience about this film? 
just hope they enjoy it. Simple. I hope they enjoy it. I hope it inspires everyone, and I hope they all go to see it. And thank you so much for the interview. Thank you so much. And we'll be back in a moment, darling. There's more interviews, more celebrities right here, at the, right here at the Hamptons Film Festival, the 21st Hamptons International Film Festival. Please, champagne, please. Film Festival, yes. and I'm here with this fabulous composer of music, but she loves the Hamptons, and she loves yes. all the red carpet events, and that's why she's here, and she's got leopard on. She looks amazing. <laughs> Thank you. So now you're here to see this particular film. film. Um, actually, also, I am uh, supporting the film of my friend Katerina Otto Bernstein, who uh, did a film on Robert Wilson. And it is here at the Hamptons Film Festival, and they're showing it tomorrow at the Watermill Center also. Well, you look spectacular, thank and you. thank you for coming to support your friend. Thank you. Film. Thank you. What are you wearing? You look gorgeous. This is uh, Ralph Lauren, Michael Kors, Michael Kors. <laughs> you, you and your girlfriend, there, she ran away. Yes. She hates to be interviewed. But Jean, Jean she was here. so shy about that. But you always look spectacular. Thank I love this so diamond much. necklace that you're wearing. Oh, it's yes, beautiful. it's a vintage. It's fun. Uh, I have my Bucciolati. This is my friend Maria Bucciolati's daughter designed this way. You oh. smell good, too. My audience Coco. can't smell you, but you yeah. smell good, too. <laughs> <laughs> what are you wearing? You. What are I'm you wearing Coco. You are, listen, you guys, Jean and you look terrific. She hates to be interviewed, but we'll just take a picture of her. Okay, But thank I love you. to talk to you about the Hamptons, Hamptons you. classic, everything about Hamptons and New York City. Oh, thank you. you it's always lovely, job. lovely and to see you. And thank you for supporting the Hamptons. Oh, absolutely. I think it's great that we have our culture, we have our, you know, our classic here, and everybody loves being here. What's and so special about the Hamptons? Because Tell my audience. It's a, it's a very family-oriented and friend-oriented area where people really love to come out and support each other. They love to see each other. Our families love to be together. They love the sports. They love the art activities. They love being going to the beach. I mean, it's a real healthy, 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 healthy lifestyle, which is fabulous. And interesting, very cultured people, you know. We're, and we exchange ideas. Sometimes we get, you know, brainstorms to do a new project or something out here while we're relaxing. Well, you, I want you to compose another fantastic oh, piece. Oh, thank you. Which thank I know you, you will. Thank you. Well, I thank you, darling, so okay, much for that you. wonderful interview. Give me a kiss. And thank you. It smells you. so good. I don't thank even you. want to stop interviewing you. Okay, and Lucia we'll Wong back. Gordon. Yes, I know who off. you are. Uh -huh. Wong. Yeah, I know who you are. And we'll be back in a moment with more celebrities, more interviews right here at the 21st Hamptons International Film Festival. Keep watching. Pink Shad Pink Kisses. Been a Cry Baby Productions, darlings.